Here we have our 3D model of the car park. This is awesome for visualization to see exactly what it looks like in real life. But not only that, we can interrogate this in a number of ways. We can take linear measurements, for example, the entrance, five meters. We can actually zoom in and pick our point exactly. Five meters. Uh, we can measure heights or elevations. So the top of the trees there, about fifteen meters. We can also use the elevation tool to measure the difference in height from one area of the tarmac to another. There are also many other measurements we can take, angles, areas, volumes, and we can even make annotations. Now I'd like you to bring your attention to the area underneath the tree here. You wouldn't really expect the drone to be able to create uh, the 3D model actually underneath uh, an object. But in this case, you can actually see and interrogate the area in front of the cars there under the trees. Whilst on site I simply took extra photos in, into this area and if I click on the turn the cameras on here you can actually see all the positions of the drone when the photos were taken. And then to better visualize this, all I have to do is to click on any one of these camera icons and it will bring up the actual photo, the high res photo that were taken at the time. For example, you can see the parking meter and signs. Or we can use it to have a look at the condition of the tarmac. all of this information available to you without having to leave your office. And anyone can use this, it could be any member of your team, it doesn't need to be an engineer or someone who understands engineering drawings. What else can we do? Well if you need this converting into a 2D AutoCAD drawing, then we can do that as well. Uh, the software actually creates a two-dimensional author photo uh, which can be overlaid onto maps, etc. Now with this, we can import this into AutoCAD, scale it to size, and then we can start tracing over it and building up the car park using AutoCAD. So here you can see lines, hatched areas, curbs, um, road markings, green areas, parking signs etc etc and then once you take away the initial image you're left with the AutoCAD drawing much like you would find in a standard survey but also what we can offer is these annotations so for example it says here pay me to bin and sign image reference OM1 so then you go into your folder of images and uh, bring up OM1, find OM1, and then you can go and use that zoom in to the pay meter and bin area just so you can get a visualization of it. Or again, you can go to the tarmac damage OM35 and OM37 and have a look at where, have a look at what repairs might need doing to the tarmac. Okay, so what do you get? You get 
all the aerial images which are used to create the 3D model. You get an aerial video, you get a two dimensional author photo or author mosaic. Um, you get a layered AutoCAD file and all for cheaper than you would normally pay for a standard survey. Okay, if you want to discuss this any further, or if you have any other questions, please ask.